there's a political ad running saying that marijuana is less dangerous than previously thought, but this is false because the scientific research has shown us that marijuana is more dangerous than previously thought. For instance, a large-scale study out of Denmark covering 50 years of data starting in the 1970s showed that 30% of their cases of schizophrenia could have been prevented if young men hadn't had a cannabis use disorder. When our nation allowed the first two states to legalize marijuana, the entrepreneurs made products that were several times stronger than they used to be. In fact, the marijuana flower is now bred to be 10 times stronger these high potency products have exacerbated the problems with cannabis induced psychosis and schizophrenia. Marijuana is more addictive than previously thought, with 30 to 40 percent of regular users who have a cannabis use disorder. That's more addictive, that's a higher percentage than with drinkers who have a problem with drinking. Breaking the cannabis addiction has proven to be extremely difficult for many individuals. Women have been and are wrongly being told to use it for morning sickness, and they're not being warned about the neurological problems to their babies, breathing problems, prematurity. Why aren't they being told? Why aren't the young users being warned about these problems? There has been concern about how marijuana laws have affected communities of color. But where is the concern for how marijuana use negatively impacts individuals, families, and communities of color? And we're talking about addiction, mental illness, homelessness, and incarceration in the communities that are most vulnerable. To protect all communities, we need to be sure that everyone knows about the harms of marijuana use. Despite the false claims from this addiction for profit industry, marijuana has been proven to be more dangerous than previously thought.